started last summer. Last summer, okay. And you like musical theater? Okay. What shows have you done in the last year or two? I've done Peter Panic, I've done Mr. Oz, I've done 13, I think, was last year. I've done Oliver. Oliver. I've done okay. <laughs> now, these school or our youth theater or something? I've, I've done youth theater. Okay. Okay, well, very good. Well, that's exciting. Um, I've, um, I teach over on this side of the state, and uh, I was just in New York last week. I've got a, um, a former student who's in Newsies, and I have a former student who's in Matilda right now. And um, I got to see both of them in their shows, and 
um, that was just lots of fun. So I'm um, a musical theater nut as well. So um, um, so let me just say, wow, wow, wow. I loved um, so much of what you have done. Um, I liked your vibrato. It's nice and relaxed. It's not trying to sound forced. You, you didn't say to me that I want to be 18 right now. How old are you? I am 14. 14, yeah. And, um, and you sounded... Um, you sounded mature for your age, but you weren't trying to overdo it. And I really, really like that. Um, because um, I know 21-year-olds who wish they could sound like they were 16. I mean, it's just just nice job. Um, careful on, um, let's see, I'm supposed to be picky with you, right? So careful on Come Against We Love that you don't put Broadway style, pop style, um, attacks on notes in a classical song. Okay, so as you are as you are working, Gavin, know that here here are many different styles, and um, and you want to see how authentic you can be with with each of the style. Um, um, Ian, who's in Newsies right now, discovered that um, um, at his at his I think it was his fourth audition. They had, he went through seven cuts for um, Newsies, and his fourth audition, they said to him, okay, you're, you're showing us this style, but we keep asking you for this style. Can you do it? We'll give you one more chance. And he switched it up and realized he can't always do the same style. And so, um, so when you're singing Come Again, you want to think, okay, this is a classical song. It's actually a Renaissance song, and, um, and how, how can I do that the best? Um, which means I'm possibly going to change um, my attacks. Um, it was, um, there was like a little scoop and that somebody videotaped it? Okay, good. Maybe you can um, just see that. So I'm not going to be picky on the rest of that because I'd rather tell you, um, uh, I would rather work on something on Poor Way Frank Stranger. Um, and that would be... Um, um, syllabic and word stress. Do you know what that means? Um, because uh, I'm not going to talk to you about breathing because you're doing a really nice job on that. I'm not going to talk to you about space because there's a nice amount of space in your mouth. Um, tall, I I'm just really, really pleased with so many of the things. In fact, I would like to invite you to, to move over to my side <laughs> of the day, but I won't do that. Um, um, so, uh, what I would like to think, though, is that um, uh, I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger uh, traveling through this world of woe. I just marked up the music, how I um, like to work with students. Um, whenever I see an underline, that means we're going to stress that part. Whenever I see parentheses, that means we're going to back it off. Because, you know, especially you love musical theater, and whether it's singing at solo ensemble or whatever, you're always a storyteller. And so um, I could tell you a story. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger a traveling through this world of war. Or I could say, I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger, stranger, a traveling through this world of woe. This, this world of woe. This world of woe. Does that make more sense? So let's just try it. And um, we're going to do this. The door is open, the door is shut. Whenever we, whenever we come across one of the, the words that we want to stress, I want you to do this, and, um, and then when it's an unstressed word, I want you to do this. If you would have walked by my, my men's chorus today, or my chamber singers today, and peeked in the window, you would have seen students sitting there, um, or standing there, and they would be doing this kind of on their own. It's just something that we do a lot, and let's just see if it works. Could we start at the beginning of that, please? Okay, and... Here we go. Okay. Hands up. Sudden we make you want to make the audience say 
sing me more. Now, you've got wonderful energy because of the fact um, you're already, your vibrato is already developing. And so congratulations on that. I've got 11th graders who, I want vibrato. And I just keep saying, relax, it'll happen. So, uh, but good for you. Let's try it one more time. And this time, let's add, a possibly when it's a, a word that we're stressing, let's think of making a little bit more shape. Right on our entrance. And one. I'm just a text, um, whether it's singing Broadway, whether it's singing opera, whether it's singing um, classical music, whether you're singing in your choir, um, it's, you're, you're always telling a story, and you, you can always be telling that. And you seem like a brilliant young man, and so you don't need your teacher to tell you that this is not an important world, word um, of is not an important world, but probably world. But there's no sickness, toil, or danger. What do you think about that? Which is the one you're going to... Um, I'm going to say sickness or danger. Sickness? Sickness or sickness? Sick. Sick. There you go. So, but there's no sickness. How about the word no? I, I think that's important because it tells you that there is no sickness. That's right. There's no sickness. Okay, and um, so that's something, to me, once you've learned the notes, once you've added the dynamics, it's time to go back and figure out what the story is trying to say, and then uh, become that storyteller. So, Hi. Um, I want to say congratulations, I want to wish you the best, maybe someday I will come to New York, <laughs> I go several times a year, and I will see you in a show, and I will come back to and say, Gavin, I knew you had a long time. So, <laughs> I wish you the best.